rotating bodies. Here we have a rectangular solid rotating about one of its axes. There's a minimum moment of inertia and a maximum moment of inertia, and it will spin stably about either of these axes. If you spin it about its intermediate moment of inertia, it will not spin stably, as we can see here. Now, what about a cylinder? Here we have a solid cylinder, and it will spin stably about its long axis. Again, another solid cylinder, give it an axial spin, it spins stably. Here is a liquid-filled cylinder, an axial spin, and it will not spin stably. It will change its axis of rotation and tumble end over end. Here is another liquid-filled cylinder, and again, it will not spin stably about its long axis. It will change its axis of rotation and start tumbling end over end. Here is a long cylinder, and it is liquid-filled, and it spins stably about its long axis until, of course, it impacts a hatch. What do you think would happen if you were to spin a fresh egg and a hard-boiled egg, only they're not confined to a tabletop? We're going to do this and see if you can see the difference. One of these is a fresh egg, one of these is a hard-boiled egg. So will future space colonists be able to tell the difference between their fresh eggs and their hard-boiled eggs by giving them a spin?